Okay, I'm going to try to demonstrate what I mean by um, pixelation or dithering or banding. I, I don't really know what you'd call it. Um, I've got this problem with a lot of my images, um, well, several of them. And so if you see, there's kind of this jagged, weird line between the colors. And it's not quite banding like if you would use the the radial gradient tool um it's it's you know i guess similar but not exactly quite the same and the really weird thing is so i'm using a soft round airbrush tool and i'm really unable to i'm i'm painting right on top of this layer and i'm not able to blend it in in any way and here i'll just i'll adjust the you know if i go all the way up to 100 here again using the soft round airbrush you get this really clunky pixelated you know mess bring it down where it should you know blend it softly and it's not doing any of that uh it's it's really bizarre and um you know maybe it's due to uh you know multiply layers which i i use but i i always you know i merge them um you know, so there's no real active multiply, multiply layer. Um, when I do it in a lighter area, as you can see, it blends fine. It's this is this is doing the job of the airbrush, um, which is not you know really a brush I use, but this is just an example um, where it works fine here. I can blend, blend around, and then in this dark area here. Um, I've actually recorded this video and I'm doing the audio after, so it's kind of kind of weird here. But um, you know, I'm zooming in here on the darker area, trying again, and it's like it's not even touching it. It's uh, oh, well, it's kind of yeah, it's kind of pushing around the pixels here, but it's not blending them in in any way. And then um, so I think what I do here is I you know I, I you know there's no no real difference between uh, that layer and, and what whatnot. So I delete this. I merge visible and then I save it as a JPEG you know with the idea that you know if, if um, however Photoshop compresses it down that then I'll, I'll try to paint on top of the JPEG um, and we'll see here that it does something very similar and I'll pr I'll try to remember to put my um, or I will put my computer specs in the in the um, uh, information below. It's it's a decent machine. It's it's actually pretty good. I think um, um, I, I bought it in mind to um, I wanted to do large Photoshop files. This is fairly large. I think the width is like it's 16 inches wide and like 24 inches high or something like that. 300 DPI. So it's a big file, and I don't know if that might have something to do with it I'm really not sure but here I'm painting right over the, the the JPEG picture and it's it's just pushing these pixels around it's not blending them um, <clears throat> and then uh, I'm gonna look at the again the lighter area pretty soon here I think oh here I go look at me go and um, same soft round airbrush and it's doing its job up here. It's blending it nice and soft, and it's, you know, not, there's no banding, there's no pixelation. Again, whatever you call this, I really don't know. But um, uh, again, I have several images that I have this problem. And, you know, again, is it a multiply layer that the, it's somehow corrupting the file? Uh, and then I'm just not able to, to work with it properly, or, uh, you know, what's going on? I, if, if any of you guys have run into,